Oh, hello guys, welcome to another video. I'm out here again in the same ancient beach woodland as I was last time, uh, but a couple of weeks later, there's been more rains, more hot weather, and it's a bit later on into the season. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, today we'll get some chanterelles, some little golden nuggets. I did find some actually uh, the other day, but not in a woodland, just on a roadside. So quite pleased it's my very first chanterelle find but I'm hoping to actually bag more than I did um, on the roadside today so yeah without further ado let's get into it so the first find it's a little beechwood sickener don't eat that. <laughs> Looks like a lonely oyster. <laughs> it's when I was thinking there was no luck. May have spotted some. And golden nuggets. Golden them there, heralds. Haha, <laughs> there we go. So we've just had quite a bit of... um luck on this little bank <clears throat> loads of birch trees loads of moss and most importantly moisture so ignore the birch bark that's for another project but i'm gonna follow this up there and see if there's any more just come across something quite sneaky and unusual but there is something that i wasn't expecting to see in the woods it looks like a glass bottle of some description down there and I thought to myself that's probably a marker isn't it it's probably someone else knowing where these guys live <laughs> telling future self where to come must be a forager's marker interesting Got some oyster mushrooms here. Some nice grey oyster mushrooms. Really common, but really tasty. Some turkey tail here, medicinal. It's a bit far gone, but to be honest, you want to whiz it up in a blender and have it as a powder anyway, so. Mm. Just to show you something really, because this is a prime example down here of mycelium in action early on, young in its stage of producing fruit and bodies and yeah, mycelial sclerotiums or, or mushrooms basically. So I'll show you this fungi down here next to this woodlouse and you can see the actual, the webbing, almost like spider's web nature of mycelium. So it's really fascinating if you like that sort of stuff. So you should just be able to see there, it's almost like a spider's web and that's the mycelium and um, yeah it's really interesting stuff, there's a little wood louse in the corner there look, but they will eventually turn into these little squaloceums which will grow out and produce a fungus of sorts, a fruiting body basically. A mushroom of sorts and um, it's only small but um, it almost looks like the start of a lion's mane fungus which is a really really rare mushroom and can be used um, for medicinal purposes and is meant to be um, basically neuro and memory uh, beneficial basically it's, it's, it's to aid dementia and, um, and Alzheimer's disease so really interesting mushroom if it is that, I don't think it will be because that's super, super rare. I'll just put a picture over here of uh, what a lion's mane should look like in uh, full maturity. But it's super rare, especially in the UK. But I don't know what these guys are, but it's really interesting just to see the mycelial makeup and network, basically. You can see it all over these leaves. Um, and all of this mycelium, it, it, you know, it, it runs underground and spreads like tree roots much like we've got here 
but if you imagine that underground. Um, and a really interesting fun fact actually is that under your foot, <clears throat> when you're stepping out into the woods, that's 300 kilometers of mycelial network that your foot's covering. So it just goes to show the vast nature of um, the mycelial network and how fascinating it is and how vast it is really. But yeah, interesting facts. It's absolutely gorgeous how the seasons change a woodland as well. Beautiful late summer vibes here. <laughs> no introductions needed. <laughs> I saw him on a wild camp on the way back to the car. And um, yeah, just didn't film him. But here he is, the big beach beast himself. Photoshop whatever you like in the top. <laughs> Nature. Come on you lot, be sensible and mature. <laughs> yeah, the tree looked like a willy. <laughs> So, I finally managed to get some decent chanterelles. Look at these bad boys. They are pretty darn good. <laughs> Beautiful little golden nuggets. Oh, just don't drop any. What's good is <laughs> these ones here look come as a three. So cute. Gorgeous and so tasty. Like I say, I had one the other day. It was huge. I'll um, put a picture up here as to how that looked because it was so good. So good. But yeah, chop with that. <laughs> and not to forget the, uh, the little grey oyster mushrooms as well. So they'll also be cooked up no doubt. Beautiful. Oyster mushrooms are delicious. Right, <clears throat> that's it guys. That's the end of the video. Um, I hope you liked today's video. I actually found some, some decent golden chanterelles today. So yeah, I'm uh, pretty pleased with that. If you did, um, did enjoy the video, then obviously give us a little like down below. Um, really helps to support the channel. So if you wouldn't mind, that would be great. Um, consider subscribing if you're new to the channel as well and you're into bushcraft, wild camping, foraging, especially mushroom foraging at the minute. <laughs> um, then yeah, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you again on the next one. Yo. Entering the planet, we were born in 1990s Censoring the damage through the years quite precisely Peppering the cabbage every day with new rhyme schemes Venturing the stranded entirely alive